Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's post is a tour of my sewing cave. I've actually cleaned up and it only ever stays clean for about 10 minutes, so I took the opportunity to record this. So basically, when I get up the stairs and I open the door, the first thing I see is some of my fabric stash. And I try to keep fabrics that I'm really in love with at the moment so that they can inspire me as soon as I walk into the room. So that's the piles of fabric that are just waiting for me to make something with. So my working space is actually two desks which create an L shape and I have my sewing machine over there and this is my cuff stitch machine which I still have yet to actually use and this is my overlocker and I, if I go around I can show you how the setup works for me. So I've got my chair there and it's a swivel chair so it means that I don't really have to move around that much one to move from the sewing machine to the overlocker. I just sort of swing around. That's me sitting in the chair sort of swinging around so you can get a 360 view. There's my ironing board as well which is sort of um, behind me but I don't have to get up and move too far. I also put a knob up there so that the cable can hang up so I could have the best ergonomic setup when I am ironing. And I also used an extension cable that has got a separate switch so that I don't have to keep bending down to switch the iron on and off. By the hook there, I've got my silk organza cloth, pressing cloth, and my cotton pressing cloth. And the bin is right there next to my workstation. I have my magnetic scissor rack, <laughs> which is just right next to the sewing machine so I don't have to move too far. And in the drawer, um, that's where I've got my needles and pins and wonder clips and all bits and bobs that come in handy when I'm actually sitting down and sewing. And one of the cool things that I actually have for my sewing machine is I've got a tilt table, which is better ergonomically. So I did a lot of research into the ergonomics of sewing and how to look after my back because I do yoga, so I'm conscious about good posture. And the tilt table is absolutely fantastic. It means that I don't have to bend my neck or my back so much in order to see what I'm sewing. Okay, and I really like that. And so there's my overlocker again. <laughs> And I've got this basket um, just underneath the ironing board where I keep my um, tailor's ham and clapper. That box there is my UFO box. It's my box of shame. It's got things that I haven't actually sewn up yet. And over here is my pride and joy. It is my shelves full of uh, sewing patterns and sewing magazines and sewing books and PDF patterns. And I just really love looking at this shelf. It's so inspiring. And directly across from my workstation is an inspirational post and my tailor's dummy and some more fabric stash. <laughs> Um, so I really like this quote by George Bernard Shaw, I think, which is basically life isn't about finding yourself, it's about creating yourself. And on the back of the door, that's where I store some of my um, self-drafted patterns and some of the bigger traced patterns. So that's basically it. Oh, on this wall, I try and pin things that are kind of uh, I'm working on at the moment. So I'm doing the birdie challenge, so it's there. And that's the skylight that provides all of the lighting in the room. And I try to place my workstation just underneath the skylight so that I'm maximizing on natural light. And so yeah, over there we go back to see the library. So I'm trying to give you a 360 view <laughs> of um, the room. Oh, and I've got these little pots which carry random stuff in them. Those are my PowerPoints. Then I've got separate gangway extensions where my cover stitch machine, sewing machine and overlocker are plugged in and I label those so that I know which plug I have to deal with. Okay. And on some days I just feel like when the sun is out I like to open the window and just poke my head out of the roof and just take a moment to breathe in and just be grateful that I actually have a room to sew in, a room that I can just dedicate to my craft my hobby that I love. So that's basically it. That is a tour of my sewing cave. I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> and um, yeah, if you haven't already, then please subscribe for new sewing related videos. And until I see you again, happy sewing. <laughs> Bye.
Actually, you can stay tuned to see some of my messy drawers because everything isn't as neat and tidy as it looks. <laughs> Until next time then, cheers, bye!